At the moment, the proposed policy's future is up in the air. Tonight, the board president revealed the district could possibly drop it altogether with a vote later this month. In Penn Ridge, we must respect the primary role of parents. Parents voicing their opinions Wednesday about proposed changes to the Penn Ridge School District's restroom policy. It doesn't matter how many options you provide. If there is one option that is discriminatory, you can't have it. The current policy requires the district provide access to single user facilities for anyone and multi-user ones students can use based on their sex assigned at birth. The proposed policy would keep the single user and require two different types of multi-user restrooms. One option is a multi-user restroom based on biological sex. The second type of multi-user restroom is based on gender identity and or the student's gender. Some believe the change would discriminate against transgender students. I think the policy that was attached to agenda seems pretty separate but equally. Before tonight's public comment, school board president Ron Wurz suggested the board could vote to retire the current restroom policy altogether so that the district is in compliance with anticipated federal law. Last month, the Biden administration expanded Title IX to include new protections for transgender students. Set to go into effect in August, the rule bans blanket policies preventing transgender students from using school bathrooms that align with their gender. So far, five Republican-led states have sued the Biden administration because of the changes. With the pending Title IX legislation, we debating a policy that may well be taken off our hands either by the upcoming Title IX changes or the courts. Still, some parents who voiced their opinions tonight said they believe bathrooms should be separate. We need to keep girls' private spaces private for restrooms, <clears throat> locker rooms, and sports. While a lot is still uncertain, the board could make a motion to vote at its next meeting on May 13th. In Percocet, I'm Brian Sheehan, NBC10 News.